Hello, I'm gonna to try to create a directory website in Webflow in under two minutes. Wish me luck. So if I just jump over to this Google Sheet here, you'll see that I have a spreadsheet of coffee shops. So this is what I'm going to create my directory for. So I'm just going to download this as a CSV. And now if I just jump over to Webflow, you'll see that I already have a CMS collection for coffee shops. And now I'm just going to import the CSV that we just downloaded and then press continue. And now I'm just going to connect the name of the coffee shops to the name field. And then I'm just going to create new text fields for every other field of data. And once that's done, I'm just going to click import 19 coffee shops and click yes. And once the import is done, you'll see that all of the coffee shops are now in my CMS collection. So now if we just jump over to the collection template page, we can get started connecting different elements to their relevant fields inside of the CMS collection. So for the H1, I'm just going to connect it to the name of the coffee shop. And then I can also do the same thing for a text field and connect it to the address field, for example. And then for the home page, we can then add in a collection list element, connect it to the coffee shops field, and then we can add in a link block. And then we're just going to link this link block to the current coffee shop. And then we can again add in different text elements and then connect them to their relevant text fields. Okay, so now if I just publish and then open up the live website, you'll see that there is a list of different coffee shops and then I can click on one to go to the directory page dedicated to that coffee shop. So now that the basics are in place, you can get started improving the design of your directory. So here are a few examples of directories built in Webflow. So as you can see on this one, this one also has upvoting and downvoting and also user reviews for different items in the directory. And this is all being powered by an app called SuperSparks. And then you can also play around with reference fields to have pages like this dedicated to items in different cities or different categories. For a more detailed tutorial, be sure to check out the link in the description. Thanks, bye.